Hello and good morning students. Children, we have done tenses. We have done simple present, simple past, simple future. We have also done present continuous, past continuous and future continuous tenses. We have lastly done present perfect tense and past perfect tense. I think you are now thorough with all the different tenses which we have done. So, let us do a couple of exercises which are given in your workbook and these are actually question paper uh, 1 and 2 and we will practice from workbook page number 85, okay? And here you have to do this question number C, rewrite the sentences as direct. Now, they have given 5 sentences and they have given that into which form you have to change, whether simple present or past continuous or future continuous or present perfect or past perfect whichever they have mentioned you in the bracket change it to okay so we will take one after another five sentences and we will change them into the sentence which they have directed us to do let us do the first one children number one early risers are going for their morning walks do you go for morning walk you need to keep your body fit and uh, healthy. So, go for morning walks. Okay. So, early riser. If you get up early, you will uh, uh, go for morning walk. And you have to change it into simple past tense. Okay. Simple past tense form of verb you have to change. Now, let us find out which is the verb here. Early riser are going for their morning walks. Now, this are going. Now, here it is in Present continuous tense. This sentence here is it in present continuous. But whenever you see ing, you understand it is continuous. And because an R is there, the helping of R, that means it is in present continuous tense. And we have to change it into simple past tense. In simple past tense, we cannot use ing. So we have to take the base form of the verb going, that is go. Go is the base form. And change it into past. Went. Yes. Early riser went for their morning walk. So R will also not come because we are writing in uh, past simple past tense and go is went. Okay. So early walks. Put a full stop at the end. So you can see, children, early riser. This is our past tense form of the verb went, go, went. So, we have written in simple past tense. Okay. Early riser went for their morning walks. Coming to the second sentence, children. The cold made my teeth chatter. Something happens, no? Um, do your teeth starts shaking and you, it makes some sound. That is chatter. And you have to write it in past continuous tense. Okay. Past continuous tense, we know we use was or where and then we have to take the main verb and add ing here. Now let us find out which is our verb here. The poem made my teeth chatter. Now made is here this sentence is written in simple past tense. Okay and we have to use past continuous. Past continuous we have to take the base form of the verb. We cannot write made in. No. Making. Yes. Made. Made and Okay, so we have to use the base form of the verb. So we write the cold. Now cold is one. You cannot count on cold. So it was, was, was making. Now M A K I N G E is at the end. So we take out. Of course, we do not write making. We take the base form, make, M A K, making my teeth chat. With a full stop. Now see, children, this is your past continuous. Past continuous was making. Isn't it? The whole, whole is singular subject was. That's why. And then ing with the main verb making my teeth chat. Coming to the third one, children, the church bands 
where is where is our menu? So we have to use app and then ring past participle. Ring, rank, run. R U N G. Run. Ring, rank, and run. Here, children, the sentence is given in simple present. Simple present. Where is our menu? So you have written ring, but we have to use the present perfect tense. So we use the church. Now this church where is my subject? Bells. Now bells are many, so I write have because it is in present perfect. Have and we write rung. R U N G. Rung in the new year. Please run the past participle form of the verb. Okay, of all the verbs you have to run. So the church bells have rung in the new year. So this have rung is your actually your present perfect tense. Have and then the past participle rung. Coming to the fourth one, the magistrate issued a statement. As you know, magistrate are the head of the district and they issue some statement, some official documents. And you have to write in future continuous. What is the rule in future continuous tense, children? For I and we, we can use shall, and for rest of the, we use will, and then be, b e b, and then the verb with ing. Because continuous means uh, you have to add ing with the main verb. Now, see, children, this sentence is in past tense. We should state the issue is actually the verb. So, it is in past tense, and you have to change it into future continuous. So, let us write the magistrate. We can, and if you don't remember shall, where to use shall and if you write will, you can write will also. So your magistrate will only come, will, and then you have to add the in future continuous tense, you have to add the, will be issuing. Now here issue is the verb, issue is the verb, and I add ing, since the last letter is e, you will not write issuing you. Okay, that is wrong. You have to take the base form. Issue is the verb and then you add ing. And take off that last letter E. Issue a statement. And it's a full stop. So the magistrate will be issuing a statement. Future continuous B is used and will is added. Means that the Helping verb will is added, then B and then the main verb along with it I H. Coming to the last one, children, everyone will praise the Lord. In which form it is given? As you can see, will is there, actually it is in future tense, not continuous, there is no ing, only simple future tense. And here we have to change it into simple present. Okay? So simple present again we know the rule that if the subject is one, with the verb we add. S or ES. And if the subject is plural, we are talking about many, we do not add S or ES. We keep the base form of the verb. So here it is praise. And everyone is one. I told you, someone, everyone, no one. Whenever you see this one, it is singular subject. So we have to add S with our verb name. Verb. So we write here this everyone. Everyone. Now, we will not write because it is in future tense. Now, praises. Praises because it is singular subject. It is singular subject. Everyone is singular. So, we use praises the law. What is the word actually? You all pray and say thank you to the God, isn't it? So, everyone praises the Lord. Okay? So everyone is singular subject, so we add S, already E is there, so we add S and the Lord. Okay? So in this way, children, this is your simple present. This is your simple present. Okay? So children, the first one, early riser went for their morning walks. This sentence is in simple past tense. Number two, the cold was making my teeth chatter. It is in past continuous tense. Third one, the church bells. Have one in the new year. The 
This is in present perfect tense. Number four, the magistrate will be issuing a statement that is in future continuous tense. And the last one, everyone praises the Lord. It is in simple present tense. Okay? In your notebook, children, please write these sentences. Do it in your notebook.